you see money? Yeah. She's been here for about half an hour or so. Are you serious? Yeah. And my station is not set up. I'm so disappointed in money right now. I got her this job. I even begged Miss Paula to hire her. And now, money is like slacking, and I don't know what to do. It's making me look bad. Well, have a seat. We need to talk. I come in, and my station wasn't set up. Mm -hmm. Can't have that. You right. I just lost track of time. If you know I need this money, I'm holding it moved in. So that's why I really need to be on point. You know, Miss Paula is going to evaluate you today. Yeah, girl, I've been a little nervous about that. Right. Just do your best. But all I'm saying is don't let this happen again, please. All right. Damn, Minnie is really on my case. I mean, I know she helped me get this job at the salon and all, but she can't ease up a little bit. Hey. Hey, how are you Good morning, Miss Paula. Good to see you. Good to see you. How's it going? You've been training now for about a week under many, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. Over the past week that Minnie's been training with you, how do you feel you've done as far as your productivity is in terms of keeping her station together, you know, greeting the clients and things like that? All right, well, I gotta be honest. Today, I didn't have a set up for, but that's the only day. You know, it's very important that you have her thing set up and you were here today for a half an hour and you were just kind of not doing anything. What exactly are you passionate about? Like, what's your career goal? Voiceovers. Voiceovers have nothing to do with this industry. If it's not interfering with this, what it have to it's do with? It's totally interfering to with this because you have no desire to do hair and to work in blends. You have to be passionate about that thing. You're in the wrong profession. Oh, I know that because I'm not trying to be a beautician. Oh, That's well not then, my career. Well, then we my don't even have a real need to do this review oh, because if you're really not trying to be a hairstylist, you have no need to be here. Okay, well, uh, if that's I'm how sorry you that it wasted your time oh, and no Minnie's worries. time. So honestly, today you can go ahead and get your things. That's fine. And but you, you can, you can pipe it down a bit. No, I don't have to I'm pipe it just down. Just go ahead and get your things, and you can exit the salon today. This is so embarrassing. Money is talking back to Miss Paula, and that's my boss. So Money needs to shut her mouth right now. Girl, please, I done wasted my time. Let me go find me a job. I helped Money get this job, and she got fired the first week. If Money couldn't take this job seriously for herself, she should have did it for me. I'm her best friend. Money, you have to take your job serious. I did take it serious. She said, I if I don't have a passion in doing this. But you know Money, ain't nobody going to talk to me crazy. I don't care where you at. It can say Obama on top of this building. Ain't nobody finna do Money. I have to say, I'm embarrassed. At the end, it's like she don't even care. Okay, why did I even get you this job? I tried it, and it was more so the pressure of more than saying I need to do something. I just wanted to prove to him that, babe, I'm not just sitting around. Ever since Morland moved in, he has been on me to hold down a job. But I took the job to provide for my 10-year-old son. I mean, I'm a mother, and I have responsibilities. In addition to that, I want to pursue my voiceover career and of course, that's gonna take money as well. By 